Hi, I'm Spencer, a product manager from Kaggle, and today I'm excited to announce the launch of Kaggle Community Benchmarks, a follow-up to our research benchmarks launch from last year. Now, anyone can create AI benchmarks to test model capabilities, and I'm going to show you how to get started. So here we are in the benchmarks UI. You can get here in the left nav by clicking benchmarks. You can filter to community benchmarks to see the new feature we launched and to see benchmarks published by other users. Let's get started by creating a task, which is the basic unit of a benchmark. Uh, we'll ask a model to generate an image of a horse in ASCII art. And we'll use an LLM to judge if that image does indeed look like a horse. Okay, let's generate that. Once the code is generated, we can go ahead and view the notebook. Let's load the notebook and see what the code looks like. Here's the code. It looks like valid code based off of the new Kaggle Benchmarks SDK. And we can review the output as well to see how the model did. So the model did produce a couple images that were supposed to be horses, but they didn't really look too much like a horse and they did, they did fail the assertion. I tend to agree with that and so it seems like a decent task. Let's save it and look at the task object itself. So once it's saved, you can see the code, you can see the previous model runs, you can run it against other models, and importantly, you can make the task public, which means you can attach it to a benchmark. That's what we'll do next. Here, we're back on the benchmarks UI, and we're gonna go ahead and create a benchmark. We'll call it animal image recognition, give it a description, and then create it. Once you're on the benchmark, you can add tasks, I'm going to filter down to tasks I've created, but we could add community tasks as well. And then we're going to add models to evaluate those tasks against. This is the currently supported list of models, but it will be growing and changing all the time. Keep an eye out for that. Now you can see that some of these models have already been evaluated against these tasks. Some haven't. So we're going to rerun for specific tasks where needed and see how they do kind of in real time because that's a hard task. No one's been able to pass it so far. Uh, we'll rerun this one as well for models that have not yet run and see how they do. Okay, most of them did, did, they did pass that one, so that's good. Let's dive deeper and compare results on some of these. So we can actually compare directly against model performance and evaluate for ourselves why things may have gone wrong or not. Here, Claude Haiku fails to identify the horse where the others were successful. And you can now look at the podium for the benchmark here, see the top three models. You can also see it in the table view. Um, they got 75% of the tasks correct, whereas Claude got 50%. As you add more, you would see more. Um, we can also make this benchmark public. Once it's public, other users can take advantage of it and start using it for themselves. As you can see, the Kaggle Community Benchmarks platform is powerful, flexible, and open for everyone. We're excited to see what you build with it. Happy coding!